So we've got some rain outside. And some places have a little snow. Yeah. They're above a thousand. Up feet. in your house, you've got some snow. A little bit. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's kind of weird when your car thermometer says it's like 36, 37 degrees, and you're just waiting for it to transition to <laughs> snow, right? Yeah, I know some folks in the lowlands did see some snowfall, but you got to head up into the, uh, well, let's say above 500 feet before you actually see some accumulating snow. This is a live picture from the Open Window School just south to the east of downtown Bellevue. Uh, just full disclosure, this is uh, just over a thousand feet. Feet. So most neighborhoods do not look like this. It's actually snowing up there right now. It should continue to do so at least over the next couple of hours. Most of us has just been kind of a cold and wet and breezy day. It is still going to be wet through the evening hours, but by the time we head into tomorrow, I'd say by mid to late morning, the rain and even the snow is going to be wrapping up. It's just going to be a chilly and breezy day and the sunshine will be returning on Sunday. Here's a live look at radar right now. We still have some wet weather from Seattle northward through Everett. That's kind of the heavier stuff. The rest of it's been kind of patchy and light and drizzly. Main part of this system showing our water vapor satellite. You can see that big circulation, that big swirl right there. It's actually missing us to our south and that's where the system has been trending. And as it continues to fall southward, we should continue to see the moisture drift that way as well. So let's take a look at our future cast. It shows green means rain. Uh, the pink color means kind of a wintry mix and the white means snow. Certainly snowing up in the mountains as we head into the evening hours. This is at midnight tonight. Notice a little rain snow mix continues for the southwest interior as well as northern and northeastern slopes of the Olympics. By the time we wake up tomorrow morning, it's basically from Olympia southward, maybe inland parts of Pierce County, Thurston County, and especially uh, Lewis County, especially higher elevations. You guys might see a little light accumulating snow as we wake up tomorrow morning. Main roads are going to be fine. I think it's just going to be accumulating on some grassy surfaces and things like that. And notice by this time tomorrow, it all dries out and then we're done with anything falling from the sky, at least for a couple of days. Notice where the accumulating snow is. Port Angeles, Squim, especially a couple hundred feet uphill uh, from the water. And notice the South Sound area. Uh, the uh, looks like the Rock Candy Mountain area. The Willapa Hills likely getting some light snow uh, accumulating tonight. Could be a couple inches of snow if you're in and around there early tomorrow morning morning, but again, wraps up from north to south pretty early tomorrow. It's going to be a breezy day and temperatures are going to stay in the lower 40s. It'll be chilly as well, turning sunny on Sunday, cold in the morning, still chilly in the afternoon, but gradually warming temperatures mid 50s by Tuesday, possibly a run at 60 degrees by next Thursday, which by the way is the first official day of spring. Guys.